Hi and welcome to another video of Type with Me. In this video we will discuss Chest and the DOM. Mainly when you want to interact with the browser, you want to interact with the DOM, the document object model, right? And therefore you need to have a test runner like Karma. But with Chest, this is not necessary because Chest uses JS DOM under the hood. You can always take a look at GitHub, how JS DOM looks like and what it does. It's always great to learn about new packages, right? And JS DOM is a really nice package to interact with the DOM within Node.js. Imagine that we create a new file called loader.ts. We create a class loader where we say show loading and hide loading. So here I create my elements that's also very great TypeScript has support for HTML elements and uh, b the browser right so um, we can easily uh, type element as an HTML element here and then here I can say this dot L equals documents dot create elements and in this case I want to have a diff then here I say this dot l dot inner html equals loading and here I say that I want to um, Append this element to my body, right? Here I want to check if I have an element. And when I have an element, I'm gonna do documents dot body dot remove element or remove child and that's very great that we have typing here right this dot l so one of the things that we need to do is to export our class And now we can start writing our test. So loader.spec.ts. So then we add our describe and our it uh, functions, right? And then here I'm gonna create a const loader equals new loader. seeing that Visual Studio Code auto automatically imports our loader class, which is great, right? And then we can say that we want to have loader.show loading. And of course, we want to test that um, the loading method or the show loading method adds an element to the page. So how are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to create also a const ID loader here I'm gonna provide ID and of course here I'm gonna say ID and we're gonna put this dot l dot set attribute to 
DID. Great. So now we can do um, const validate element equals documents dot get element by ID. And then we can say that we expect validate elements to be defined. You can also say expect validate elements um, dot inner HTML to be loading. I'm going to check if it's indeed loading. Yeah, it's, it's loading here. So I'm going to check that here, right? And of course, we also want to check that loader dot hide loading is working. So So here, no elements to be NULL. When we now run npx jest, You will see that our tests are working. And that's great, right? Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.